Hey Leo, welcome to my channel. This is Brother John Tarot here to do your March messages. We're gonna do the first 11 days of March. Hopefully y'all are doing well. All right, I'm doing pretty good. All right, we're gonna pull one of these cards first just to see what your overall energy is. Oh, look, Leo, it's the lion. Let's get one card for Leo's overall energy for March. For the first 11 days of March. Wow, that's a lot. We're going to put all those back. And just do one shuffle. All right, give me one card. All right, you got the Page of Cups. Great. So this is good energy. This is like you working towards something brand new, uh, or you having you you may have a new job or a new uh, career. You started up a new career or something, but this definitely represents uh, manifesting some sort of brand new project, or this could be somebody coming in wanting to um, express some kind of feelings towards you, or you could just be expressive right now or creative right now. Um, you have the Nine of Cups underneath the deck and the Seven of Cups. Wow, look at that. That's a lot of cups. Uh, let's see. On top of the deck, you got the, the Lover's card. Okay, Gemini Energy. So you could be dealing with a, a water sign here, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this gives me um, that you're that you're doing good. You're doing really well right now. Or you're you're in a good emotional state right now. Um, and you feel happy. You feel lucky. I feel like um, you're getting your wishes fulfilled or uh, things are coming true or or things are manifesting for you right now. And it's bringing you some sort of self-happiness or something like that. This is really good energy, I'm feeling, for you, Leo. Um, but we're going to get some other cards just to see. Get some more messages here. All right, let's see. Uh, what is Leo facing during this time? Wow, look at that. The magician. This could this is this gives me Aries, but it also says Gemini energy too. Uh, but the the magician has everything spread out on his table because he is uh making things happen, right? So he has to prepare a table uh so that he can do his magic or uh manifest or whatever. So this is very good. This coincides with the page of cups, you being creative, you um being in a happy space because you know you you know you should be in a happy space to do magic right don't do magic mad okay don't don't because you start manifesting things out of negativity um so you want to do you want to be in a happy space uh when, you, when you're manifesting things or when you're trying to speak things into existence or doing candle magic and all that you want to be in a happy space doing that uh, so that the good comes back to you right so this is definitely good energy um, let's get more on this. The Death card, Scorpio energy. That's another major arcana. So, um, yeah, so also what you're facing is, uh, things not going so well. Or, uh, you, um, like I said, manifesting out of dark spaces. Or, uh, you're not getting the result that you wanted possibly in the past um but this just represents uh your magic coming to an end as well too or your manifestations coming to an end um it could be also time for something brand new because you know the death card represents a rebirth um so you could be going through some sort of transformation right now or manifesting uh i feel like your manifestations are are coming coming it's like they're it's like your manifestations are coming in but they're coming in as a, a reborn type of energy is what i'm picking up um this is also representing like the death of the ego but the brand new start of 
uh, something brand new, beautiful that's going to come from that. Um, the Five of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like this could be like the Five of Swords represents uh, someone, you know, people trying to get away at all costs or just want to win and things like that. So, of course, we all want to win, but, you know, you have to manifest things. Uh, you you have to not be manipulative, basically, to uh, manipulate the situation or manipulate people's energy because that's black magic when you make somebody do something. So I feel like uh, you need to let go of trying to control a situation or trying to uh, be too manipulative during this time when you're manifesting. It's, it's very tricky when we manifest. Hold on, my light just went off, so I'm going to go cut that back on. So yeah, I just feel like um, don't just try to win, okay? You need to uh, do things in order, I guess. Let's see what you're opposing here. What is what is Leo opposing here? Four of Pentacles. So what you're opposing is uh, possibly not getting the right tools to manifest or being too cheap or not saving your money or uh, not spending enough time on yourself or... Uh, yeah, not, I feel like not spending enough, enough time and energy on yourself. Um, I feel like you need to uh, be alone while you're manifesting or something like that. Yeah, I feel like you need to be alone while you're manifesting. Because, you know, people tend to, not everybody, but a lot of people tend to throw salt in the game when you tell them your plans and things like that. So I feel like you don't need to tell anybody your plans. I feel like you just need to um, manifest good things or speak good words uh, in, into the universe. Let's see what the plan is right here. Page of, page of wands. So the plan is just to get out there and do it. Just go ahead and, and that's another page. That's another energy of, of being creative or getting out there or um, uh, or possibly someone coming in to help you as well too, like a new person coming in. So the plan is to actually get out there and do the work yourself and meet new people who can help you or who are on the same path as you or who, who could at least help you in some type of way. Um, this is good energy. Um, let's get more. What else? The the King of Swords. So yes, the King of Swords is here is because uh, you want some. This is you getting serious about yourself, about your life. This is you doing things the right way, because the King of Swords can represent the authority or the, the police officers or uh, uh, people like that who follow the law, follow a book or something like that, a rule book or something like that. So this is doing things the right way and having help with it or uh, possibly somebody coming in to help you do things the right way or show you uh, another way or a better way or something like that. So this is good energy. Also, the King of Swords represents cutting off or cutting things out and keeping things out that don't no longer serve you or that are just uh, harmful to you. Um, so, yeah, this is good energy. So we're going to get, what is the root of the issue? What's the, well, it's no, it's no issue here. Um, let's get the conclusion. Wow, the Empress. Empress is the conclusion. So the conclusion is um, manifesting good things or speaking things into existence is going to bring you abundance in life. <laughs> it's going to make you feel free. Um, 
the empress is also pregnant on some cards so this could be like the birth of um a new project or a new job or a new experience or something like that but it's uh it's boss type energy you know what i'm saying she's a boss she represents all the women in the deck just like the emperor represents all the men in the deck so the empress is someone that's uh um that's liked by everybody she's pretty she's she's smart she's uh intel uh, I, I that's clearly the same thing i was about to say intelligent she she has money she's stable you know uh she may be a mother or may have kids or whatever but um this is just somebody that embodies everybody in the deck somebody everybody wants to be like the empress all the women want to be the empress because she's everybody so this is really good energy underneath the deck you got three of cups wow more good energy four four of swords okay and then uh the knight of swords on top of the deck so you have a lot of good things coming in for uh, towards you a lot of people want to celebrate with you or you are celebrated in some way um or you are celebrating or something right now or an accomplishment i feel like possibly even if it's uh getting to a different level of life or just a, a different higher level of consciousness or whatever whatever it is it's good energy and you you're being celebrated or you are celebrating um so you have three major arcanas we're going to clarify those and then we'll get some other cards all right why is the magician here The two of pentacles so yes the two of pentacles is on top of the magician because it's time for you to balance things out in your life um it's time for you to manifest things that are going to come back towards you in a good way um that's going to make you money that's going to keep you in the game or you know in the game of you know life and not struggling and things like that so this is actually one two so this is like you going in order like i said earlier um, go in order. Don't skip steps. Don't look at what everybody else has or somebody else has. Um, make sure you um, just just don't don't use their um, material things as as you like you're losing out or something or like you're falling behind or you're you're not where they are. You, you know. So uh, stop comparing yourselves to people is what I'm trying to say um that's that's not gonna work you know everybody moves at their own pace and you know things happen in divine timing so let's get one for the death card wow the six of cups all these cups out here this is a lot of passion a lot of good emotions a lot of good feelings uh the six of cups usually talks about um people from the past or someone uh from the past this how they think of you or they want to give to you or something like that so this is a uh, new good things coming in possibly after failed attempts or, or, or uh, failed manifestations or failed uh magic or something like that so this is good things coming in good rewards good things uh, coming in because you're going to be manifesting different right we say you're going to be speaking things into existence and uh speaking highly of yourself and and uh and firing down those um negative thoughts when they come in our head right we're going to speak instead we're going to speak good things whenever something negative comes in your head immediately cancel that don't speak that and speak say something uh that's not uh you know say that's not going to happen or uh just say just the opposite of, of what you just thought and uh, that's how you um stop manifesting the negative because if we overthink it and keep lingering on we tend to um it, it, it doesn't come true you know so uh, just remember that let's get one for the empress card i hope that made sense wow look at that the emperor empress is clarified by the emperor that just came out like this almost in, uh, in the last reading I did. In, in what was that? Taurus I just did? Wow. So <laughs> this is clarified by the Empress because it's more verification that 
um, just like the emperor, just like the empress, the emperor embodies all the men in the deck. So this is somebody that people want to be like you. You have men and women trying to be like you. And in, and in between, everybody, transgender, LGBT, this is a lot of uh, respective, uh, this is somebody that's well respected or you, you're well respected in, in the community or what you do for, for a living. Um, people look up to you. This is a, these are really good uh, cards, like the same energy. This is really good. Um, underneath the deck, you got the, the Queen of Swords, another the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords. Wow. And then the Eight of, Eight of Pentacles. And then you have the Two of Swords. So yes, just just continue to make those good executive uh, decisions for yourself. Continue to um, cut people off or cut things out of your life that don't not, no longer serve you, and just continue to do things that make you happy and, and always be creative. This is what this is saying. Always create something. Always create. Be creative. Um, this is really good. All right, so we have, oh, we're going to do this deck right here. This is the alphabet deck. So sometimes they be wanting to spell stuff out for us. So we're going to, um, we're going to see what they got to spell out. I'm going to get four to six of these. We have E for egg, which is Capricorn energy. Those just kind of fell out. We got D for dolphin, which is Gemini Aquarius energy. We have R for rainbow, which is a happy place. We have, oh, look, two S's. Those, these are the other two that that, uh, that just fell in my lap. Uh, S for snake for Gemini energy. Then we have uh, S for sun, Leo energy. Oh, let's get one more. This is almost like dessert or dress. This says dress. Yes. It definitely says dress. Yes. So somebody, they, I told you people look up to you. You Maybe you're well-dressed. And we have an X for X-ray fish, which is Pisces energy. So we have X's. <laughs> uh, this almost, well, it's, it's not almost. I was going to say excess. Recess. I don't know why I saw recess. But this is said, this says dress. Um, so I guess you have good, elegant clothes or something, or you, you dress nice, or maybe people notice you because of the way you dress or something like that. Whatever it is, this is noticeable. Um, people notice you. All right. These are some random messages. We have Scorpio is here. We got Scam Likely. <laughs> and we have Fall. And then underneath the deck it says Cancer. Wow, I was going to do Cancer next. Um, Let's get one of these cards. These are great African Americans. I've been doing these in all my readings. Let's get a great African American. Who wants to come out? I read his the other day. He's in another reading. We're going to put him back in there.
All right, we got Phyllis Wheatley. She was born nine. She was born seventeen fifty three, and she died in seventeen eighty four. This is Phyllis Wheatley right here. Let's see. It says after being kidnapped from West Africa as a child and taken to Boston on a slave ship, Phyllis Wheatley landed in a re relatively fortunate uh, circumstances, servitude in a, in a Boston family that treated her well and encouraged her education in which she was able to cultivate her natural gifts for verse and language. By the time she published her first poems in 1767, Wheatley had almost mastered Greek and Latin um, to the amazement of local scholars, whom, who, many of whom had genuinely believed uh, such feats to be beyond the capacity of Africans. Many of Wheatley's subs subsequent poetic works written in English neoclassic style were published in poems on various subjects, religious and moral, in 1773. Wheatley's lit literary reputation and personal magnetism gained her, gained her ad admiration both in the United States and England, and after her death, she became a potent symbol of Black intellectual accomplishment in the ideo ideology ide ideological battle against slavery. You know what's crazy? That same word that I stumbled over was in my last reading. Ideological. Anyway, that's, that's Phyllis Wheatley. Um, all right, let's just get a question and then we'll end the reading. Let's see what this question is. I always ask questions in the reading. Let's get the most. Okay. This says, what is my life like when it is in balance? And this says, what kinds of reoccurring situations or people do I attract? What kinds of lessons might they have about myself? I don't know if y'all can see that. Well, anyway, this has been y'all's reading. Thank y'all for tuning in. Hopefully this helped you out in some type of way. It gave you some kind of encouragement or something. Um, thank y'all for tuning in and I'll see y'all next time.